2003, the NFL had three minority head coaches, future Pro Football Hall of Famer Tony Dungy, Herman Edwards, and Marvin Lewis. In the 12 previous seasons, there had been six in total. Considering that the majority of the players in the league 16 years ago were minorities, some would say that there was quite an imbalance. Here to talk more about this is Onyx News contributor from our New York studio, Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. Dr. Jordan, uh, Paul Tagliabue, the NFL commissioner, has put together a mm -hmm. committee that established the Rooney Rule, which requires all teams with coaching and front office vacancies to interview minority candidates. Talk to me about this. Yes. So here we have a committee needing to be put together in order to bring about diversity. And this is horrible to see that this has to be done, put in as a rule, put in as a law, because our humanity has not gotten mature enough to be inclusive. I like to look at it this way. Diversity is a fact, but inclusion is a choice. What is going on when you have people that have money, has power to be the difference or to be mad, M-A-D, mad means making a difference and choose not to make a difference by creating a world of inclusion and diversity because they still kind of are creating this whole world of segregation. So the NFL put together a committee, and again, it's a sports where it's about 68% are African Americans that are playing in the sports. And we begin to look here, at, we don't have black head coaches in the sports, so they begin to make a rule that if any vacancies come open, you've got to at least interview one minority so that they would have a fair share. But again, they interview a minority, but sometimes they have the white guy already picked for the job. There's still quite a few questions about this particular uh, rule that the people have. How real are the interviews given to minority candidates? How uh, are, they, are they just simply brought in to comply with the Rooney rule, even as teams have no intent of hiring them? There are still questions relative to this. What's your feedback on that? Well, we have a statement and a quote here that I wanna quote from former NFL coach T Tony Dungy, who says, if you just say, I am going to satisfy the letter of the law, interview a minority candidate, and then hire who I want anyway, then of course it doesn't work. That it creates, or rather, and it creates hard feelings. So what we are seeing here is that there's hard feelings being created because it's almost like we are having this feeling that the letter of the law is kept, you're fulfilling the letter, but you're not really fulfilling the spirit of the game, the spirit of America, the spirit of the world, which is about inclusion. Diversity is a fact, but inclusion is a choice. And I trust that the NFL will start having a spirit of inclusion. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to see how this uh, continues to play out with who we see in leadership and in front positions across all of the sports team parameters. It's going to be very interesting to see Dr. E. Bernard Jordan joining us from our New York studio. Always a great conversation with you. Thank you for awesome reporting today. Thank you, Nietzsche.